Gamer. What's going on sports gamers? Mike Straw here with an extended bonus from the 2020 SGO Showcase. You all saw what Danny Jugan had to say about Access Football 2020 in the showcase, but there's more than what you saw. Thanks to the power of the internet, we're bringing you the full Access Football 2020 segment, including what didn't make it to air in the original show. Before we get into it though, be sure to go check out the 2020 SGO Showcase if you haven't already, subscribe to Sports Gamers Online, and turn on your notifications so you never miss our latest videos. Now, without any more delay, check out Access Football 2020. What is going on, everybody? My name is Danny Jugan. I am the president and lead developer for Access Football, and I am so excited to be a part of the SGO Showcase again this year. We've got some super exciting things to show off in this video today. We're going to start with some gameplay improvements that we've been working on. We'll show you some new animations that we put in, um, some of the new UI redesigns that we have done, and we will wrap up with some esports information. Just a reminder of what we're doing there. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys some brand new gameplay improvements that we've been doing. So I'm going to pull up uh, this video, and I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. This is a, a recording I took earlier today, um, and 2020, one of the big things that we wanted to focus on was improving the gameplay itself, um, the actual X's and O's of football and how it's executed on the field was an area that we could really improve, um, and one of those areas that we're going to show off today is catching in stride. Um, for the past couple of years, uh, one of the things that has plagued Axis football was the, the stopping of the receivers at the place where the ball would land or arrive, uh, and this would create an unnecessary delay in the player turning, and it's just not realistic football. Most of the time you see a player catching a football, they catch it in stride, and they don't stop moving. So we spend a lot of time working on that this season, and uh, we want to show that off today. So I've got three different clips um, with a, a decent quarterback, so you can see how accuracy uh, does play a factor into it, but that most of the uh, catches will happen in stride now. So I'm just going to let these play um, and kind of talk through them. So we got a short crossing route here, kind of a drag um, off the, the beginning of the play, and receiver reaches up to catch the ball, and you can see he catches it in stride without any sort of stopping um, during the process. So we got another one here. Oh, I'm gonna, I'll pause afterwards. So again, this is a receiver coming out of the backfield, kind of an over-the-shoulder catch. I'm going to rewind it a little bit, um, and we're going to watch it again. So watch 24 coming out of the backfield, uh, and he just kind of dumps it, looking over the shoulder, hands extended, catches it, and in stride down the sideline. Um, let me show you one final one, and I'm going to pause this before we get here. Uh, one of the things that we have done uh, this year is we have completely redesigned the whole user interface. Every single scrap of it is gone and we, we are going with a much more consistent look. Um, and, and so you get a kind of tiny glimpse of it right here with the new uh, design of the playbook and the score clock across the top as we approach our release in uh, late August or early September. Um, we will show off more of the, the new UI. So let me get back to this. All right, so this is a, um, I believe this is a deep cross or a deep in um, for this play. Just to give you guys a few different routes and, and how the catch and stride looks um, across some different routes. So we see here, he's going to throw it to uh, the, the right bump here. It's kind of a deep, so this is, the throw itself is about you know, almost 17 yards, but he's about 10 yards deep from the line of scrimmage. You can see he's going to catch it in stride. Let me pull it back a little bit. Um, you'll see his hands are extended right here. He's looking at the ball. Hands are extended. I'm going to pull it back just a little bit because you can see at the point where he actually starts. So right here he's running his route. And as soon as the quarterback throws the ball, you can see the receiver look up to track the ball. So he's tracking the ball. Hands are extended. Catches it in stride and runs down the sideline. So... That was all from the, the same drive, um, just to give you an idea. Massively increased the number of catches in stride, which is really going to improve gameplay. And again, that's just one small sample of how we are improving gameplay 
for Axis 20. If you want to see what it was like, you can go back and look at some of the videos in Axis 19. All right, so next thing I'm going to show you guys are some animations that we've added up. We made public um, last year that we purchased a motion capture suit, so we are in the process of adding tons of new animations to the game. It's part of our two-year plan um, that we are going to see that happen um, over the next two, two seasons. We're going to be adding tons of animations. So what I want to do is show you just a couple that we've added so far. In fact, I'm going to go to the, the pickup ball animation first. And in these videos, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you what it looked like in 2019, and then I'm going to show you what it's going to look like in 2020, kind of like a before and after view here. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at, this is Axis um, 2019. So what you're looking at here, this is 2019. This is last year's version. And we're going to take a look at what happens when a fumble occurs or a football is on the ground. All right, so I've got it set um, to where fumble happens, quarterback gets hit, ball's on the ground. And what we would have in 2019 is these players would actually run up and the ball would magically teleport to their hands. So you're going to see they're just going to run on top of it and it's going to whoop, flips up into their hands. All right, let me rewind it to you one more time. Ball just flips up into their hands. Okay, now what we were missing there is the animation actually bend down and pick up the football. So let's take a look at what it's going to be like in 2020. So the video is going to skip over. We're going to hop into 2020 and we see the updated UI. And this, just a disclaimer these stadiums are just our test stadiums. These are the classic ones that we use in the mobile version, they aren't the ones that you'll see in the, the final game. But quarterback drops back here, and again, he's going to get hit and drop the football, uh, just like four. So he gets hit, uh, nice tackle animation, he goes to the ground, and you can see these players now are already going in to scoop up the football, okay? And again, this is a very minor change, I'll watch full speed here, very minor change, and the outcome isn't really affected, but it adds a lot to the visual integrity of the game. This is what we would expect to see players doing, bending down and picking up the football, just one small example of how we are making the game look better and improving the gameplay. Now, with this, let me scoot ahead to about a minute and then 15. So what we're looking at here is, again, this is 2019, what we're looking at. And we really improved the animations that were occurring on the kickoff. What would happen is, whenever a kickoff would start, let me back it up just a little bit. Whenever a kickoff would start, the players would simply start in this position and run forward. And let's take a look at that kind of full speed. Um, same thing with these guys. If you look at the, the kick returners on the, the left side of your screen, they simply just turn and start running backwards. Okay. You can see how they're um, working. So kickoff occurs, and now watch what happens with these guys right here. Again, this is 2019. Uh, this is last year's version. These guys are simply going to turn and run forward and it looks a bit unnatural okay so let me rewind so we can see what that looks like one more time and look at this guy in the back this little loopy loop like he's confused all right so that was um, 2019 now we can take a look at um, 2020 and i'm sorry this is still that's still 2019 sorry here's 2020 skipping ahead in the video. Okay, so we can see they're turning the face inside um, a little bit more, uh, and these guys are in a, a much more appropriate uh, stance for the start of the kickoff. Let me skip ahead a little bit here, and so you guys can see how the new version is going to look once the, the kickoff starts. Let me back it up just a tad. So all of the kickoff coverage players, these are the guys up here, um, they are going to do kind of like a gallop slow start, which is something that you would see an actual football player doing on a kickoff. So let's take a look at that. Their running start. Now take a look at the kick return players. These guys will actually look at, you can watch, um, from this sideline view, it's a little harder to tell. They, their heads will actually track the ball going over their heads. You can see it right here. See how they're all looking up at the football that's just been kicked? And now they will slowly turn and run. Same with these guys. Let me back it up just a little bit. Take a look at these guys on the left side. They track the football. Now, 
remember what would happen in the 2019 version. These guys would simply turn in place and run. One guy even did a little loop de loop. Now we've got a nice kind of pivot turn animation, um, which looks way better. So again, let me remind that we can look at it full speed. Much nicer pivot and turn animation as he runs forward. So those are just a couple quick examples of the new animations that we're adding to the game to improve the gameplay. We have hundreds of these to put into the game. We're going to get in as many as we can for the 2020 version, um, but know that this is going to be a process and that's a part of our longer plan uh, as far as getting all of these in. But we've got a lot of good stuff to work with and the future is definitely bright. So that's it for the animations that we wanted to show off. Um, the next thing that I want to show you guys is our brand new uh, UI. Now this is going to be in the, the main title screen, uh, the main menu. Um, I'm not going to show you franchise yet because we're in the process of wrapping that up, but it looks amazing and we're super excited to show that off in the future. But here is the new UI. What we're doing is we're featuring some players from inside of the league that um, just trying to make the league, the league feel a lot more alive. So these are randomly going to cycle through um, some different players in the league. Um, and the, the gray pieces on the side, those are just because I'm running it inside of the, the editor. Um, these will just cycle through with some random players and then you'll be able to hit any button to continue. And that takes us uh, to the main menu where you've got some different options to cycle through here. Uh, as you go through the players change, uh, you can come down here. We've got some nice UI animations with some stuff swiping to the side. I'm going to go into exhibition mode, um, changing teams here, going up and down, kind of the basic stuff you would expect. And you can switch sides and all that good stuff. Editing the uniforms, you have that option just like we did before. You can change just the specifics or you can change entire uniform sets. And adjust your playbooks, all that good stuff. This is our new game setup screen. It um, shows you a nice player comparison. Those will automatically uh, swipe in and out, a running back, wide receiver, quarterback, and you can control them with the tabs as well. Um, if you're using your tabs, you can cycle through the different ones. Um, also, you can go to the game setup, and this is where you'll change your rules, gameplay, stadium, all that sort of good stuff, adjust the weather, and that sort of thing. Um, you can also go into expert picks. Now, we've expanded this a little bit. Um, they'll now make comments based off of the simulation results that they're running. Um, plus, we also give, um, we run a thousand simulations of the game to give the, the percentage that the uh, user's team has to beat to the other team. Um, just adding a little bit of depth there. Um, and that is about it for the new UI. Moving back all the way out to the main title screen. And like I said, we're super excited to show off the franchise mode in the future. Last thing I want to chat about is our eSports League. This is something that we are super excited to launch um, at the beginning of August. We are going to be running a competitive online uh, eSports League. And the way this is going to work is we're going to use our new uh, two-player coach mode. So this is a, a local two-player mode that we're going to be able to play online using Steam's remote play. Uh, so two players are going to be able to connect and, and play each other without physically sitting in the same room. Um, and we're going to run an eSports League based off of that. So each player is going to be able to um, represent one of the teams. So we're going to have 36 players in our eSports League and each one of them is going to represent one of the 36 teams and they're going to go through a whole season. Uh, we're giving cash prizes and the, the thousands of dollars um, to the winners of that. So definitely stay tuned to that. Uh, if you want more information about that, you can check our YouTube or our Twitter. Um, we have videos specific to that. Um, and applications are still open. So again, if that's something you're interested, definitely check out those videos um, or our website to see how to apply for that. So that's it. Again, we want to thank uh, Sports Gamers Online uh, for the opportunity to come in and show off what we've been working on. Um, we are very excited uh, to get into the, the 2020 season. 
and for you guys to get your hands on this game. So thanks again, and we'll be in touch.